Now you only have to open the newspapers or Facebook or whatever your preferred method of uh, receiving information to know that there are many, 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 many negative things. Well, to see concerns about many negative things about the NDIS. Uh, there are many, many, many big issues that um, we see in the media. Uh, I was going to ask you what issues you guys have seen because I'd love to know what the local regional issues you guys are finding out. Um, but, you know, some of the issues start with the affordability of the NDIS. We're, you know, concerned about the planning process, particularly how that's working for people who are particularly vulnerable or have communication impairments or, uh, um, and we know that they've just changed their planning process yet again. Um, which is a positive change in this case, away from phone interviews and to have a more streamlined system. Uh, it's actually very similar to what was happening in Tasmania at the beginning of the trial in Tasmania, and I think a really positive move to give people more support. Um, we're concerned about clients running out of funding, and I was just talking to one of my clients today and they've run out of, they didn't receive enough funding for pretty much anything. Um, and the, we know that the review process is really, really painful and not really a review process at the moment. It's by the time you do the review, you probably got your new plan coming anyway. Um, we know that there are all these big issues, but at the same time in talking to my clients, I hear so many positive things. I hear so many things that they feel enabled to be able to do in their lives. I feel, you know, some of my clients are achieving outcomes that we just couldn't have imagined in the old system. We wouldn't have been able to do the type of services that um, are enabling them to live their lives and achieve their goals. We, um, and my clients are almost consistently positive about the way forward, even though they might be experiencing some hiccups in the now. Um, so it's probably about 80% still are telling me some really positive things. So, you know, how do we reconcile all those negative concerns, all of those positive outcomes, things that are working well, um, and be able to provide really high quality services ourselves within this funding environment because the NDIS isn't going away anytime soon. And I'd like to introduce you to the circle of concern and the circle of influence. This is made up of two uh, circles, a circle of influence on the inside of a larger circle, the circle of concern. Now, all of those big issues that we have, big concerns we have about the NDIS, how it's rolling out, how it's really working for people, whether the people who need the funding are getting the funding they need to be able to do what they want. I think if you're in the AT space or assistive technology or AAC, that we have some real concerns about what's happening there, what's included, what's not included in the NDIS. Um, and I know from a speech pathology perspective, we've got dysphagia management and nutrition and all of those things that are, um, there's lots of debate about how that's fitting into the NDIS at the moment. On the inside, we have the circle of influence. And those are all the things that we can actually directly control ourselves. Now, when we place our attention in the outside of the circle, in the circle of concern, we actually find that we're putting all our energy onto things that we can't make any difference to. I cannot change the direction of the NDIS. I cannot change the political environment. I cannot change um, so many things. And I cannot change every single individual planner who's doing things that, that may or may not be quite the way they should be. What I can do is I can place my, and when we place our energy in that circle, it actually shrinks how much we're able to have any influence at all because all of our energy is being pushed out to all of the things that we can't put our attention on. But if we place our attention into the circle of influence and put our energy and our attention there, we can choose what we can influence. We can choose how well we provide funding reports to our clients, how well we support our clients through this time of incredible change. And you know, if it's stressful for us, I cannot imagine how stressful that it is to somebody who, whose lives are directly impacted 
by the magnitude of the changes and the frequency of the changes that the NDIS is bringing. It's constantly changing. So by placing our attention on the circle of influence, now sometimes I have to admit I have to very deliberately choose to place my attention here and focus on the things that I can change. I can support my clients and I can learn as much about the NDIS as I can so I can write better funding reports for my clients so I can advocate on their behalf so that I can perhaps have an impact on the planners around them or in fact that's what led has led me to start doing these webinars because it's something that I could do to have a positive influence and I have to admit you know the times that we live in they are really challenging, not just with the NDIS, but in our political and environment world with um, some political, the far right political movements that are becoming into power at the moment. We've got some very divisive politics happening in Australia at the moment. And it's particularly difficult, I think, to, to not be con have our energy in the circle of concern in so many areas of our lives. And it takes a really deliberate uh, focus to be able to bring your attention into the circle of influence.